All right, everyone, David Seven Skies here. I think this is the first time I actually show my face in the standalone music story. Uh, I'm in the studio right now and I'm mastering my new song and I wanna show you what I'm doing and how I do it. All right, so this is the track. I'm gonna play a little bit without mastering and then I'm gonna turn it on so you can hear the difference. And we mastering on. Which sounds like way louder than it actually is on the phone and a little bit distorted, but that's because of the recording. Uh, it's not actually. What I'm trying to do is staying around this area. Then obviously if a vocal or something comes in, it goes a little over, but normally EDM is like around here. And since this track is a pop track and not an EDM track, instead of being here with my uh, average level, I am trying to stay around here so that everybody's happy and we don't make people's ears bleed. Okay, so first thing first, this is the TR3 meter by uh, IK Multimedia. It's uh, the meter that's in uh, the T-Rex. And I really like this perceived loudness meter over here. And moving to the channel, this is my whole mastering channel. I'm gonna open each and every single plugin and I'm gonna show you what they're doing and why uh, I'm using those. So the first plugin that I'm using is the BX control. And this plugin is really cool because what I do here is I make everything below 140 Hertz mono. And then I use the stereo width, uh, usually 125 or 130, right now it's 127. Um, what's good about it is that uh, I don't spread the low frequencies, which you don't need to spread, but you can only spread like mid uh, there's a ton of other uh, plugins that do this kind of thing. The the Isotope uh, Stereo Imager is actually pretty good. Somehow, I always prefer this one. It seems to me that the Isotope kind of messes with the face, so this is my two. Next is the UAD SSL Channel Strip. It's the new channel strip, it's not the old one. Uh, this is not doing much, but I need some time to explain what it's doing, so it'll be in the next story. All right, so the first thing this is doing is, of course, some EQ, some coloring just a little bit, just to brighten up the highs and to push a little bit the lows, but just a tiny, tiny touch. It's like 0.5 or something like that. Then I'm also doing a low cut, so I'm cutting everything below around 22 hertz, and I'm cutting everything above around uh, 15, I believe it's 15K. But actually, the most important thing this plugin is doing is acting as a preamp. In fact, I'm using the mic preamp over here just to give gain to the tracks because I like the color of this preamp. If you do the same thing, it is very important you keep in mind that because this is connected to the Apollo Twin Unison uh, system, whatever, you need to uh, hit the minus 20 button over here. Moving on to the next plugin, we have another UAD and another SSL. This is the SSL G Bus compressor. I just got it two hours ago. It's an improvement compared to the older one. It's amazing. It sounds incredible. And what this is doing is compressing just a tiny bit. Let me play the song so you can see what it's actually doing. go if you want to screenshot the setting you can do it right now I actually wrote a blog post on standalone-music.com about how to set this type of compressor so go check it out next my favorite limiter invisible limiter I love it this is actually not doing much just a couple DB in the input gain and then set it to uh, two oversampling the reason why I set it to 2x and oversampling is that I have a long talk with a friend of mine who's an amazing mastering engineer and we sort of agreed that when it's x16 or something more than 2 it sounds a little flat. And last but not least, this is a very short mastering chain by the way, we have the Casrog K-Clip 
This is an amazing clipper. I've never showed this to anyone because this is my own personal secret, but this is the key. And then at the end of the chain, you'll see that there's a gain over there. It's nothing crazy, just a simple logic gain. The reason I have it is so that I can check the mix and the mastery in mono, because that is very important. And then I just turn it off and bounce it. All right, I hope you like this little tutorial and I hope you learned something. Obviously, take it with a grain of salt because every track is different. Sometimes I have completely different plugins to do my masters. But this is it from me, David Sennis, guys.